That announcement comes as Dallas County reports its largest increase ever in hospitalizations for COVID-19. If they continue to rise, the DFW Hospital Council warns North Texas hospitals will soon be forced into surge mode. Caroline Vandergriff's in Dallas with a look at the potential impact. Right now, there's not only a concern for the number of hospital beds, but also staffing. According to the DFW Hospital Council, there were 700 people with COVID-19 being treated in Dallas-Fort Worth area hospitals on June 15th. Three weeks later, that number has more than doubled. If the rate continues to increase rapidly, the council says hospitals could be in a surge situation within two and a half to three weeks. That means adding beds throughout their facilities and shuffling staff around to accommodate the influx, which has been done before, but it's not easy on doctors and nurses. These heroes have been working three and a half to four months treating people with COVID-19. Many are getting fatigued and we have got to do everything we can to prevent hospitalizations so that we don't overtax them. On Monday, Dallas County reported 105 more hospitalizations for COVID-19. Judge Clay Jenkins says that's a 16% increase in one day alone, the biggest jump ever. He's now calling on the state to do more to stop the spread of the virus. Judge Jenkins sent a letter to Governor Abbott Monday night, urging him to close a variety of businesses like bowling alleys, gyms, indoor restaurant dining, and movie theaters. He also wants the governor to prohibit COVID-19 parties where people intentionally try to spread the virus and to limit in-person attendance at faith-based services. The governor says going back into lockdown mode would force Texans into poverty. He did put a near statewide face covering mandate in place last week. In Dallas, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBSN DFW.